Hello, my name is Jose Espinosa, and in this video I will be discussing the colonization of history and how an artist can help keep history more honest than perhaps a history book. Let's face it, history books aren't as honest as we would like. Growing up, I was always taught that Christopher Columbus was a brave explorer. I was never told that he was a brutal colonizer. In fact, he did help bring about an era that would end the history of the native peoples of this continent. So why the discrepancy? It's very simple. According to Winston Churchill, history is written by the victors. Unfortunately, in this era, in our time, the victors are the Donald Trump and his Republican administration. Um, it's an administration that's all too comfortable with presenting alternative facts and straight up lies as truths. And they take truths and discredit them and call them fake news. Unfortunately, we also have a news media in this country that is very adept at telling, at being dishonest, at telling lies. So who are we to believe? Artists. Artists traditionally have been hired by rulers, by chieftains, by those in charge to leave history recorded on in artwork, paintings, wall murals, stone carvings. So an artist can help keep history honest. Before I discuss my project, I'd like to discuss the materials I used. I've decided to use wood panel and canvas married together because I like the I like the rigidity of wood panel, but I also like the texture of canvas. So I decided to marry the two and uh, give me a dual surface to work on. I'm also using Nova Color acrylic paint. It's a Los Angeles based manufacturer distributor. It's a high flow light body paint. It's got lots of pigment and it dries flat and gives me the opacity I need that I thought was suitable for my project. My process began by looking at Olmec stonework, Mayan ceramic art, uh, Mayan murals, Mixtec and Aztec codices. As you can see, the images left behind in these codices were very simplified figures in composite view most of the time, very flat colors. They often represented um, interactions between deities, mythical creatures, rulers, and uh, the subjects they ruled over. And uh, there were a lot of these creatures, a lot of these figures were in unrealistic skin tones. And so that's what I've cho chosen to go with. The result was a mix of Mesoamerican iconography with a telling of a more accurate history of what Central and South American immigrants have to go through when they are detained and separated at the border from their families. This first painting is called Fake News. It's a depiction. On the bottom, you see a Trump follower. He's reminiscent of an Olmec uh, stone head, the large ones that were found. He's covering his ears. His eye has been pulled out of his head by the figure seated atop, which is supposed, it's meant to represent Donald Trump, who's painted in a Mayan motif. Um, look, he's meant to look like a ghoul who's yanked out the eye and is ready to bring down the hatchet on it. It's meant to represent how Donald Trump means to control what um, the receiver of news um, believes, understands the truth to be. This next one is called Conquistadores. On the bottom, you see a woman uh, nursing her baby. Over them is a man, a conquistador, on a horse rearing over them as if ready to capture, come uh, bring his might down on them. Uh, Mayan codices or uh, Aztec codices and Mayan murals did not depict conquistadors because by the time they showed up, um, they were not no longer able to practice their art. So I had to take some liberties here. As you can see, the the conquistador figure has a shield, and on the shield is emblazoned a ICE logo, the Immigrations and Custom Enforcement Agency. And uh, I had to take liberties, many liberties here. Also, number one, because they did not have conquistadors in their artwork. Also, they didn't have pack animals, so horses didn't exist in, uh, in this continent until they were brought over by the conquistadors. 
Here, this one is called Quetzal No Auto. It, uh, Donald Trump is depicted as a golden haired uh, Quetzalcoatl snake. And as you can see in his coils are captured children being thrown into his mouth as a sacrifice. On the bottom, you see again, a woman holding her baby, protecting it from the coiled up snake that seems to be calling for a sacrifice. This one is called Grab Him by the Hair. And it's a reference to an ugly comment that Donald Trump has made about women. And it also represents Donald Trump's capture and separation of uh, children from their families. As you can see, there's a child being held by the hair. It's a typical symbol used in Mesoamerica to represent um, capture. The, this child has been captured and removed from this woman who is asking, begging for her child back. Donald Trump is a large, rotund figure. Uh, it's hard to tell in this painting, but his hair is golden, and um, he's got an awkward tan. This last one is called The Great Sacrifice. On the bottom, you see uh, an, an immigrant being, um, his heart is being cut out of his stomach by a chieftain. Um, often, the sacrifices were meant as an exchange. The, the large Quetzal snake uh, with a Trump face would often give back a, an essence as the life essence of the victim was given to him. As you can see, both essences here are going back to the Quetzal snake. So the essence coming out of the uh, sacrificed victim is going to the snake, while also the, uh, the life essence coming out of the snake is going back towards himself. This is meant to represent how immigrants, even if they are undocumented, illegal, whatever, they are giving into a system that will never give anything back via taxes, work, etc. Um, my conclusion is you can make Mesoamerica great again if you just leave an accurate account of what immigrants go through as uh, when they come to the border seeking a better life. Instead, they're, um, they're treated as criminals. Often they're separated from their families and, and put in cages. I'd like to end with a quote from Alfred Tennyson. The quote is, a lie that is half truth is the darkest of all lies. And so my goal is to shine a light on those dark recesses of history. Thank you for watching my video.